same dub audio, no? And to our listeners, most especially to our Grid 11 TVL learners, welcome to our presentation for Industrial Arts of Technical Vocational Track. Today, I will present the specialization of Electronic Product Assembly and Servicing. I am Teacher Brian G. Panindi, your presenter, and Teacher Shirami Sumaya, your content developer. And we are from Attorney Orlando Islimando National High School, Mako North District, Division of Dabo de Oro, the vanguard of excellence. Join me as we explore the world of electronics. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Are you ready learners? Okay, I believe you are ready now and very prepared for our exciting topic for today. We are now in the fourth week in the electronic product assembly and servicing. And we will be discussing about mounting, soldering components of a AC, DC, power supply. The objectives of today's lessons are 1. Identify the parts of EC, DC power supply 2. Apply all the knowledge and skills and soldering techniques that have been learned 3. Perform soldering techniques to assemble rectifier circuit of an EC DC power supply. Please get your modules and listen carefully so that you will be able to follow our discussion and learn another lesson from our specialization. Are you ready? Very good. I guess everything is all set. And then let's begin. We will be discussing about mounting and soldering components of an AC DC power supply. You will identify the parts of an AC DC power supply. Apply all the knowledge and skills in soldering techniques that have been learned and perform soldering techniques to assemble rectifier circuit of an EC DC power supply. But before we proceed, may I remind you of the following simple rules on how to use your modules. Number one, use the module with care. Do not put unnecessary marks on any part of the module. Use a separate sheet of paper in answering the exercises. 2. Read the instructions carefully before doing each task. As for this episode, I will be with you as we accomplish some of the tasks in activities. For quarter 1, Module 3 of the subject e -pass. Number 3. Observe honesty and integrity in doing the task and checking your answers. Number 4. Finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next. Number 5. Return this module to your teacher, facilitator, once you are through with it, looking back to your previous lesson, can you still remember the auxiliary and electronic parts of a power supply in page 15 in your modules? Can you still enumerate it?
Wow, good job! You are right. The auxiliary and electronic parts are 1. Transformer 2. Mail plug 3. Lead indicator 4. Rotary switch knob 5. Alligator feet 6. Rubber hole 7. The rotary switch 8. Printed circuit board or the PCB 9. The fuse holder with fuse 10. Electrolytic capacitor Very good students! What a job well done! And now, let's pause for a break for a few reminders. Don't change frequencies because we will be right back. The Radio Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanaway Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Siguradong kuyaw, siguradong ninyaw. Moving on, let's proceed to our discussion. In your previous lesson and exercises, we already identified the auxiliary and electronic parts of power supply. Now, kindly please turn your modules on page 59 in all basic electronic tools. Power supply assembly is the most common application. One of the reasons is that power supply is always present or required in every electronic circuit. In this activity, you are expected to apply all the knowledge and skills in soldering techniques that have been learned. Now, I will demonstrate the procedures on how to mount and solder components of AC-DC power supply. And while listening, you may follow me as long as your materials are available. If not yet available, for the meantime, please observe while I'm doing the demonstration. Because you are expected to apply all the knowledge and skills and soldering techniques that you have been learned from today's discussions. Remember, safety first while doing the activity and I know you can do it. Procedure in mounting and soldering components of a EC-DC power supply. Number one procedure. Prepare all the materials, resources needed. The materials needed are design PCB, soldering lid, four pieces rectifier diode, 1N4001, Electrolytic capacitor 3300 microfarad 
by 25 volts light emitting diode or lead resistor 1 kilo ohm by 5 watts schematic diagram of ec dc bridge type power supply design of ec dc bridge type power supply tools and equipment soldering tools and pliers or tweezer number two clean the terminals of the components to be soldered in the copper side of the pcb number three mount insert the terminals of the components in the pcb observe proper connection and polarity in mounting and double check with the design you must first mount the resistors after mounting the resistor you must solder and bind the resistor to the pcb Then add the four diode. Remember to check the polarity of each rectifier diode. Then, solder it one by one to the PCB. Okay, please remember the safety in installing and soldering any parts of the PCB.
After installing the four rectifier diodes, you may install the light emitting diode with proper polarity in the PCB. After installing the light emitting diode, you can connect now the electrolytic capacitor. Then, you may solder all the parts, the remaining parts like the electrolytic capacitor cut the excess terminal of the components Check the solder and spaces between the solder joints and lines for possible short circuit. Test the circuit using the multi-tester. Observe proper mounting of components according to standard. Now, we are done in mounting and soldering components of PC DC power supply. Let's pause for another break and please do not change your channel. The Radio Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanaway Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. And we're back. We are still tuning in to Z Radio 88.5. Sigurado ng kuyao, sigurado ng lingaw. Let's check if you did the task well. In page 61 of your module, answer self check 2.1 mounting and soldering components of DC DC power supply project directions. 
rate yourself on how competent you have applied the skill in PCB itching using the criteria below by checking on the appropriate box points 1 to 5, 5 being the highest. Compute for the rating by dividing each item by 5. Multiply by 100. Average the rating of the 6 criteria to get the final rating. At this time, we will now have the post test to assist what you have learned from our lesson today. In your module, page 62, there is a post assessment that you need to answer comprehensively. Direction. Read the questions carefully and write the answer on your test notebook. Number one. It is a tool used to join two or more metal sparks by lead. Again, it is a tool used to join two or more metal parts by lead. A. Screwdriver B. Soldering iron C. Long nose pliers D. Multi-tester And the correct answer is B. Soldering iron Number 2 A device used to measure voltage, current, and resistance Again, a device used to measure voltage, current, and resistance a. Ammeter B. Long nose pliers C. multi tester D. Screwdriver And the answer is C. multi tester Okay, number 3 A type of prettifier circuit which uses four diodes Again, a type of rectifier circuit which uses four diodes A. Halfway B. Full wave C. Full wave center top D. Full wave bridge And the answer is D. Full wave bridge Number 4 In PCB designing Bigger space is required so that heat sink can be installed. What design factor is being considered? Again, in PCB designing, bigger space is required so that the heat sink can be installed. What design factor is being considered? A. PCB size and shape. B. Position of the terminal C. High temperature dissipation D. Accessibility of components E. Space for bolt and nut And the answer is C. High temperature dissipation Number 5. The removal of unnecessary portion or layer of a conductive materials of PCB. Again, the removal of unnecessary portion or layer of conductive materials of PCB. A. Boring and drilling. B. Itching. C. Soldering. D. Tracing. Right. The correct answer is B. Itching. Now, check and count the number of the correct answers. Write your score in the upper right portion of the test notebook. Great job, learners! You did it! Since there are many remaining activities 
to be answered on your modules. In page 62, just take your time and continue answering the rest of the activities. And now, let us check if we hit our objectives for today at the end of this episode. Identify the parts of AC DC power supply. Apply all the knowledge and skills in soldering techniques that have been learned. Perform soldering techniques to assemble rectifier circuit of an AC DC power supply. Great job everyone! Thank you for tuning in and a job well done everyone! Please don't forget to submit all your outputs during the schedule retrieval and distribution of your modules. Thank you so much! Once again, this is Teacher Brian G. Panigin leaving you a quote. Never stop learning because life will never stop teaching. Till next time, bye-bye! Rajas Escuela Executive Committee The School's Division Superintendent Yofemia T. Gamutin Sasso 5 Assistant School's Division Superintendent Dr. Romel R. Handayan OIC Curriculum Implementation Division Chief Karina S. Frasco School Governance and Operations Division Chief Dr. Roben J. Riponte Members Cecilia Morales Dr. Hilda A. Opeña Dr. Arlene B. Lim, Dr. Eldicris B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Siquinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medar T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Productions and Communications Lori Lee E. Quijano Given G. Hinampas Judy Land D. U. Donna D. T. Bolifer Mary Rose N. Resma Riven Manuel Irene Lea C. Manguhon and Bessie Aya N. Banias Social Media and Packaging Team Christian and Hara L. Martesho William R. Ranara, John T. Escoto, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Estanyol, Richard H. Arellano, Lee L. S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyan, Angelo Gutierrez Jr., and Jade Karen Arais.